Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for dropping by our documentation to learn how to design a one-page website with Divi. So uh, a lot of our other documentation has to do with individual components of Divi, but we put a lot of that together in this tutorial to show you kind of how things uh, can, can work seamlessly together to create a cohesive website. And uh, the great thing about a one-page website is they're simple to put up and really effective if they're the right use case for you. So um, regardless of that, it's also just an excellent uh, thing to practice just to get better at creating and designing websites in general. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you that entire process in this video. Check it out. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a single page website using Divi. I'm also gonna showcase the sidebar navigation that's built in along with how to create a custom menu with anchor links to link to certain parts of the page. This is a landing page and it's divided up into sections and can easily be converted to a single page website. And it should then have all the necessary elements that a company or a person would need for their website to function. The sidebar navigation uh, can be accessed by going to edit your page. And if you notice in the back end here, you need to look for the Divi page settings box up here at the top right. And there's an option called dot navigation. By default, it's going to be off. I'm going to turn it to on. I'm going to update my page. And let's go see what it looks like. All right, so you see this nice little dot navigation has been added to the sidebar here. And if I click on any of these dots here, it would take me to all the sections of my page. Now, if I really want to complete the process of creating a single page website, I'm going to have to add our links up here in my navigation. Now you don't want to include links that are going to go to other pages. You want to include links that are going to scroll to certain parts of the page that you're already on. We call these anchor links. So let's go ahead and create a custom menu. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to have to add some unique CSS IDs to the specific sections we want to link to. So let's go ahead and First, let's link to our next section, which is called Discover Unlimited Beauty. To do this, I'm going to enable our Visual Builder. And after that loads up, I'm going to click on the section that I want to link to. I'm going to click on the Settings. And then in the Section Settings, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Advanced tab. And under the CSS ID and Classes, I'm going to enter a unique CS, CSS ID identifier. And in this case, I'm just going to call it Discover. And save. Let's go ahead and add one more. I'm going to scroll down to the next section here. This one has the title uh, Top Destinations. So we're going to want to link to this section here. So let's go ahead and to go to the section Settings, go to the Advanced tab. CSS ID in classes, and then give it a CSS ID of destinations. I don't want to call it top because I might get confused into thinking it's going to be linking to the top of the page. All right, save that. And let's go ahead and make sure and save out our page. Next thing we're going to do is create a custom menu. To do that, we're going to go to our WordPress dashboard, navigate to Appearance, Menus. Once we're there, we're going to create a new menu. I'm going to call this one Single Page Menu. And we're going to add in some custom links. To do that, you find the Custom Links section here, toggle it open. And now we can start to create our links using a URL specifically for the Anchor Link CSS ID. In this case, it's going to be a hashtag or a pound symbol, and then the name of your CSS ID. In this case, it will be discover. 
go ahead and give it the same link text name and add it to the menu. The next one was destinations. So put the hashtag or pound symbol and then destinations. Make sure you get this exactly right, the name, or it won't work. And then the link text, just call it destinations again. And then add it to our menu. I'm going to go ahead and, and remove this home link here. Make sure your display location is set to primary menu and then save. All right. Let's go back to our page and let's refresh so these settings would take place. Now, if I click on discover, it will scroll down to that next section beautifully. Click on destinations and on and on we go. Of course, you would repeat the process to link to the next sections of your page. But all in all, you will have a working single page website.